This is Randall with KrabaGodTraining.com and today I'm going to discuss the hammer fist to the rear, hammer fist to the back, and making sure that you land in a proper fighting stance. And this is what I mean. Common beginner mistake is this. They throw the hammer fist, but when they step with this leg, they land not far enough over here in a proper fighting stance. So it looks like their body is bladed towards their target, uh, they're turned sideways. Uh, this isn't as good as landing where your body's squared up. The reason is because I want the ability to be able to protect myself better, and I do that by being squared up. Basically, I want my opponent at 12 o'clock. Think about wherever your belly button is, that is pointed towards your opponent. Now, if I do this towards the camera, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about a little bit better. So, a common beginner mistake is this. Notice I'm tur turned too far sideways. Notice how this foot and this foot is almost like we're on the same line, like I'm walking on a balance beam or I'm surfing. Instead, what I want to do is make sure this leg steps far enough across that I land in that proper flight stance that all beginners are taught. Notice that all ten toes are pointed in this direction. My belly button's turned to 12 o'clock, my shoulders are even, and this should be my proper any position. Not like this. So one more time. Bam. Now a good drill to make sure that you're doing this right is when you're practicing, hit the target and then stop and take a look to make sure you're in your proper fighting stance. This is what I mean. After you hit with the hammer fist, recoil it back, and then just take a look. Make sure that all those key components I just discussed are being utilized. If your footwork is a little off, fix it and adjust. So an example, if I was doing it wrong, oh, okay, fix it, do it again. Nah, a little bit wider, do it again. So that's a great way to help you with that. Another thing that I like to add is add a straight punch or a cross at the end of that. So it looks like this. The reason why is when you throw the cross, if you're in a proper fighting stance, you'll have lots of power punch and you're going to feel well balanced. If your footwork's a little off, when you throw this punch, it's going to feel real awkward. You're going to feel off balance. And the reason why is because your stance is too narrow. A wider stance means a wider base, thus better balance. So once you get comfortable with the hammer fist, add the straight punch. And like I said, if your balance feels solid, it probably means you're in the proper fighting stance. So that's your training tip for uh, right now, is making sure that we land in a proper fighting stance when we do the hammer fist to the ring.